two o'clock, I heard a voice say, go to the bridge. It was two o'clock in the night, it was cold. So I took my shoes on and go in 10 minutes. I saw the man on the bridge, just before he jumped out. Suddenly I heard a voice, don't speak to him. So I look at him. I take one step through him, to him. Or he take one step away from the bridge. I stand there for 20 minutes. If I talk, maybe he, he won't kill himself. Up to 20 minutes, went away. Another time, Inge didn't hear a voice, but had a sudden strong feeling and wasn't sure if it was God or not. Uh, this was many years ago, cutting the grass outside where I live, cleaning a little bit. And I say, uh, other side, there was a man do the same what I do. A neighbor. Yeah. So I went over, I said, hello. He said, come in. Did you feel like God told you? Yes, I feel I would go to him now. But I didn't know God or not, I didn't know that. So I just, I feel, I must go. And uh, it was a very nice man. He, he must come again. So I went back to him many, many times. And after three months, he said, if you have come 10 minutes later that time, three months ago, I've been dead. So I already made a rope on the, the roof. If you come 10 minutes later, I've not been here. I should kill myself in the basement, the rope. So he gets safe. He got healed, he had the cancer, and uh, I prayed for him, and uh, he got healed. He lived in 20 years after that. So I uh, was one of the best friends in my life. The obedience, the best you can do, the obedience. Inge has blessed many with his sensitivity to the spirit, through a word of knowledge at the right time, and through a powerful healing anointing. So I meet this man. <laughs> oh my god. And <laughs> I can walk normally again. I couldn't do my arms properly, my feet were always giving me pain. And now I don't feel any pain. I can do everything now. Thank God. Bless you. And tonight you come and you just Put the word of God on me and my feet up. I can move I my feet. I put my feet on your feet? I, yes, you put your feet on my feet and now I can even move them. <laughs> I can move them. I haven't been able to move. And the abscess in my mouth has gone right down. It's not so. It all started in 1997 with a trip to Pensacola, Florida and the Brownsville Revival. I think it was um, 1997, April. I saw in the Christian newspaper there was a revival in Pensacola. Maybe I should check it out. I come down there in the morning. I saw 2,000 people outside the church and they playing guitar. It was like a drunk. So I think I come to the crazy house. I come in there on the first uh, evening and I feel that like God's presence was really strong. I really touched my heart. And I uh, go forward to they pray for me and uh, I feel nothing. I went to the bathroom, I fall after the man there. So he's shaking uh, his body, I think maybe he's uh, sick. But he was not sick, so the glory of God touched him. And never forget his face, he's shining like an angel. So I went home 16 May 1997 on the plane. I felt suddenly like you should start a prayer meeting when you come home. You shall experience something you come home to Norway. Hmm. Sometimes difficult or myself or Holy Spirit, difficult. So I went home to my church and I went out of the door and suddenly a man he said, did you want to go with us to home? Yeah, I said, thank you. And he said, uh, the pastor from Estonia. So I went there talking and God said to me, pray for the pastor from Estonia. Just before 12 o'clock at night, I said, Lord, and God's liquid power uh, fall down. And I hear a voice said, Inge, did you want to be blessed on the earth? 
I said thank you. So I have a problem to go up from the from the floor. I think what is this? And I um, come into the car, but uh, I tried to put my key in the in the ignition. But the arm goes not away like this. I used the other hand, but same happened again. The arm, I think maybe I stroke. But I never experienced like this. Nothing function. <laughs> so I uh, went out of the car, sitting outside beside the car. People say, Inge, shall you go home? I don't know. After 30 minutes, I'm free. I'm not sick anymore. I think it was a sickness, but there was no sickness. It was the glory of God. So I went home 2.30 in the night. I go to the bed, and suddenly there comes liquid into the room. I think this is a rapture. Oh my glory. I was shocked. Three times in, the, in this night, I feel the like glory come. In the morning, Monday morning, I get a telephone from a friend. They want to see some video from Pensacola, two ladies. And I put the video on and I asked the lady, did you have a pain in your neck? She said, yes, stand up. I got push her over my table. She lying the, ten, maybe two minutes on the, on the, on the table. Yeah. So she got instantly healed. So that's starting a journey, 18 May, new life for me. An amazing thing happened. The, the life gets changed, really changed. For the joy and love change you. But what was the difference? Because you were a believer before. Yeah. So what changed in you? New gasoline in my heart. Uh -huh. The presence every day I cry, laughing and crying. Amazing. On one year I was on fire. I talked to people. God sent me around to the many, many places, and that, that changed my attitude. I'm here, use me. It doesn't matter. The glory of God was so strong over me. My children could not see the television. The glory was in the, in the li living room there. They could not listen to the see the television. So they felt they couldn't No, they couldn't do that, but the glory was so strong over them too. Wow. That's the beginning of my story. <laughs> So you never said, you can't watch television? No, no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so all my understanding of God, that, that He is love, and He uh, wants to change you. Not by the law, but by the grace of God. That's uh, my experience. Uh, one story more, I was come from, from Brazil, and I fly from Portugal, Lisboa to Oslo, I'm very, very tired, and I am um, sitting on train from uh, Oslo. The train stopped me in the, in the Lillestrøm. There comes a mother and two children, and I suddenly get to wake up. I said, did you have two cars? One is BMW, right? Is white? Yes. Who is sick in your home? My brother has a cancer. So that was easy to talk, because the glory come over me. And I said, you children there, he's amazing heart for people who have trouble in the school. <gasps> she said, exactly. She take care of the, the people who are hurting and different kind in the school. And I said also, I think you have a call into helping churches. She was non-Christian, but have a faith. God was after her. I said, God is after, after you to save you. You shall be uh, in the leadership in the church. She was really shocked. For her, it was amazing. She can I meet you again? You cannot meet me. We can meet him. So that was uh, <laughs> the gift is not to yourself. Most of the time, speak to other people. How can they recognize whether it's uh, from yourself, or something you want, or something that you've just heard from somewhere, or it's, if it's the spirit of God? So that's the training you train in the sport. Sometimes difficult because. The human thoughts are similar to when he speak. Mm -hmm. So you must, you must... Uh, Sometimes you have to test it. Yeah. You don't always say that God says, right? No, I, I don't, never do that. Mm -hmm. I try and speak, and if they get the response, I go forward.
and the man prayed, and God Almighty just healed me because I don't feel nothing. So gl glory to God, like, wow, I'm in shock. I don't know why you guys are here. I love the, the fact that you stop and touch me. Thank you. Praise the Lord. So I, I was there about 25 times I was there in Pensacola. And you took people there? Yeah, maybe 500 people from Norway, some people from Estonia, Sweden, Denmark. My name is Christiana Bonge from Freetown, Sierra Leone. From France, Paris. From Melbourne, Australia. How many of you in the line of that are from Germany? Let me see your hand. Wow. From Argentina. I am from Ukraine. Israel, all right. One night there in Pensacola, I think it was 98, it was six people in the, in the room, and suddenly comes a hand in the room, a hand, big hand. Big hand? We could not walk on the floor, like, we feel the hand, press it down. There was a hand in the room, big hand. You saw it? We feel it. Feel I can it. feel, I, if I touch you, you will feel it. Yeah. That feeling, that was six hours, we could not walk higher than this. The whole group? Yeah, we were on the floor. You could not hand and push it back. During the five years of revival, thousands, if not millions, of lives were changed. Inge saw firsthand the spiritual fruit in the people he brought with him. Hi. Attitude, how they speak, focus is different. What is important before was things, but now it's all the spirit. I thought I'd never be able to forgive my stepdad for what he did to me and my family. But a week ago, Saturday, I came to this revival and I prayed to God. I told him to take it away, take all the pain. And when I prayed, a scripture came to my he, Jesus said that if you had faith and believed that you could even move mountains. And this mountain was years and years of abuse, and he took it away. I gained so much hatred inside of me, so much bitterness, so much anger. I hated the world. I hated my own mother, my own dad. I wrote out the perfect plan to murder both of my parents. But that same woman that I wanted to kill <laughs> spent every night of her life on her knees praying for me.